Well, before we take a break, today is the call for kids. The anxiety and fears around taking a newborn baby home can be overwhelming. Now imagine if a lack of sleep or not getting a shower becomes the very least of your worries with your nine day old infant. This morning, Q2's Janelle Slade shows us another reason why the St. Vincent Healthcare Pediatric Intensive Care Unit needs your support. He was ready to come to this world. Wyatt William Neubauer, 8 pounds, 12 ounces, born February 24th, 2020. Just absolutely delighted and terrified, of course. But for Cassie Neubauer and her husband and baby Wyatt at just nine days old, that pure joy turned to complete fear. As time went on, he seemed to just keep vomiting more and more. Um, the day before I took him in, it was almost projectile. Um, it was neon green, so I knew that was not normal. It's a pretty rare uh, pediatric surgical problem, uh, but has to be addressed uh, in an emergent fashion. Wyatt, one out of every 600 babies born with intestinal malrotation. His intestines did not form into a coil, causing them to twist and cut off blood supply. The intestines are very sensitive to lack of blood flow, and so within a very short time period, the intestines can die, which can become a lethal problem. A lethal problem that needed immediate treatment. I was really worried we were going to lose him, but um, they saved his life. Dr. Rollins saved his life. And Dr. Rollins is one of 10 pediatric surgeons from Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City who rotates a week at a time at St. Vincent Healthcare. So children in this region have global surgical care 24-7. Global care involves disrupting families' lives and uh, decreasing the financial strain as much as possible um, is, is all part of taking great care of patients. We could have gotten sent to Salt Lake City and I can't imagine uprooting our whole lives. But instead of spending two weeks hundreds of miles away, Cassie has found a silver lining within this scary situation. Go, I can go home and do laundry. I can go home and shower. I know we're missing. I know I'm missing the crazy newborn lack of sleep time. I'm like, I actually feel rested today, so can't really complain. Well, rest up, Mama. Wyatt will be home soon. In Billings, Janelle Slade, MTN News. And if you would like to play a part in making sure patients like Wyatt are able to receive care close to home, you can make the call for kids today. You can call 869-3669 or visit ktbq.com slash call for kids. We'll also have our own Rob Griggs live from the Call for Kids Mediathon coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. Be sure to stay with us for those updates.